Buxton versus Leap Town. Pre-season friendly. We are just two weeks away from the big kickoff, and we will continue to cover the pre-season matches. Extensive coverage. What do you reckon, Jasper? You're not coming to Buxton now, are you? And here we are in Buxton. <laughs> And here's Andy Blow, who's carrying a bit of an injury at the moment, and just chatting to him. How much longer on them crutches, Blow? Uh, end of September. It's tra tragic, really, that someone of your sort of football. 27 years old. 27 years old. Cut, cut short to me, Brian. Cut short. What did you do? Did you get your foot stuck in the ground? Yes. And that was the outcome serious ligament damage. And tendon, yeah. Are you finished? Yes. He's finished. Round Fish. Yep. <laughs> Holker Road, Buxton. Off to the big pre-season friendly. We've got media passes down here. Yeah, we've got media passes. We haven't actually. No media passes. We should have them. And here is Buxton football ground. Oh my very dodgy camera work. Definitely not playing FC United. Yeah. New recruits for Leak Town TV. Discussing where to stand during the match. Perfect. Perfect. And this is Buxton FC. And I'm just enjoying a pint in the bar pre match. The line up today. Big time in the change kit of gold this afternoon. There's a take on Buxton, who I believe are in a league higher than league. Don't know which league. It's good football, but the. And Fish, you're able to enjoy a beer during the, the afternoon's entertainment, and that no doubt will suit someone like you. Very nice, mate. And the setup here, you've commented that you think Leak Town's a better setup. Well, yeah, it's difficult to compare. I've been to many non league grounds. You've been to Leak, though? I've been to Leak, I would say Leak's uh -huh. better than this. Why is it better? It's a bit more stands better, isn't it, than, than this? And... I think you're right, mate. I would say Luke, Luke Town is better than this. Six pound entry, do you think that's fair? Very fair. Fine, mate, yeah. Very no fair. problem with that. Why is it? Children free. You're children free, yeah, that's. Yeah. That's good. Six quid liner, what do you reckon? Do you reckon that's good value? Yeah. <laughs> I should hope I should hope so. 25 quid I get on a Sunday. 25 on a Sunday. <laughs> Leakin District Sunday League. Where does it say bake? Darren Darren Baker. Baker on the bench. 15. Is he your mate? Yeah, well, yeah, he's a mate, yeah. I'd like to see him come on. How old is he? Um, Bake, I'd say he's about 35 now. He's he's no good for this level. No disrespect to him. Good footballer, but this level's he play? better than Bake now. Bake at 27, 28, maybe. Although, in saying that, they've got some old players, Sam. Sheldon at 25 would have could have played here. Ooh. Oliver Edwards and Matthew Bircher, I mean, just look at, just look at them pair. Tyler as well, Tyrese. <laughs> yeah, we mustn't leave out the kids. And Matthew, what brings you to books? Are you just fancied an afternoon of football? <laughs> can we, can, keep it clean please, yeah? Right, a lot. I want mate to to a goat. <laughs> I want watching mate to a goat. <laughs> Ollie, Anley Town. Tell you, that. you signed for him, aren't you now? Yes, mate, yeah. Another season? Yeah. Did he play from last season? Yes, mate, end of last season. Did you, did you net? Yeah, just about ten. Just ten, Matt? Yeah, 
Take right back to us. Look at one goal. He's not going to have serious issues. I can't. I can't do it. Can't. What, do, what do you think of the setup here? Good pitch. Uh, you like really well. Bit wonky, if you look. Like, you like to take your camera and take your camera? I can't cover you. We need move. It's raining. Look at Fisher. I do like Fisher. It's got zoom. <laughs> unfortunately, not unfortunately that Leek have scored, but unfortunately the cameras weren't running from myself. But given the fact that I've recruited staff and they're now working for me, hopefully one of them, two lads with cameras, will have got that own goal. It looked like an own goal. So it's Buxton from the higher league nil. Leak Town from the league below. One. Ryan. Good goal. Own goal. What is own goal? One. I saw the guy missing. He just skipped over to that. He just bundled in. Own guy, I think OG. Scrappy goal, but we'll take it. Poor goal. But a goal all the same. Yeah, absolutely. So what's for my analysis? <laughs> yeah, what did you say it was? I said I said Buxton looked the better team, a league better than the league, and then they scored five seconds. I think you you were just enjoying the finer things <laughs> of the afternoon rather than the. So yeah, unfortunately we we did. I missed that goal, but I would imagine my recruits. Where are they were you? Keen to impress. Well, I don't know. Because they're not behind the goal, so it would have been a long distance shot. We'll, we'll catch this, so whatever happens with this. I'm going to leave you two now. I'm going to go roving around the ground. A bit more adventurous around the ground. Yeah, there might be more going on elsewhere. I can guarantee you there isn't. Just put yourself at the pitch. You'll see more. Oh, that's video, then that's how did, ooh, did you rate me as a footballer, Matthew? You think I was a good player? A bit like me in the bed, son, you're a trier. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's appropriate. <laughs> Leak Town Television apologise to anyone that might be offended by some of the content of today's footage. Look at Ollie Edwards there, mithering the management staff. Look at them lads there. Five proper blokes all lined up. And Jack. Ollie Edwards there. Hopefully behaving himself, hopefully. As Buxton currently have the possession. Trail to Leak Town, 1 0, continuing our impressive pre season. If you've got a bit of quality, 34 years old is. is I rate McPherson. I think he's. I think he can play. And you need footballers. Very good playing surface. Big Town Television can report. It's absolute quality. That is quality. Oh, pick that out. Tim Grice, take a bow. That was quality. Fantastic, Tim. You did get that one. Yeah, got that one. What a what a goal that was. Brilliant. And that's why Tim Grice is on a two year contract, I understand, because he can do that. That was quality, that was. It was Gaza, yeah, Gaza 96. Gaza 96, Scotland. <laughs>
Oh yeah, brilliant. Brilliant and Leap Town TV caught it as you'd expect. <laughs> what are you doing? What's this all about? <laughs> you better got that goal. I got that goal. Yeah. It was like um, Gaza Euro 96. Well, oh, yeah. Gaza S. Are we having that? Yeah. yeah. Gaza, Gaza Euro 96. That was quality. Is it just a board of uh, rain? I don't know what you're doing though. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, does it work? Are you getting protection? Yeah. Ball from the head. Fair enough. Improvisation. Yeah, fair enough. Close to Johnny here, but that's because I'm under the umbrella. <laughs> Mr. TV man, have you got that grassy's goal? Yeah, I got it, yeah, I got it. What do you think of that goal? I missed it, I was in the toilet. Well, that's alright. <laughs> That's all right, look at that badge. Have you got it? Yeah, I've got it, yeah, it's there, I've got it. But you Can can't have... watch it back yet. Hey, oh, oh half-time. <laughs> look at Terry Boot. Watch the game, Terry. <laughs> Nearly missed a goal, didn't he? <laughs> Buxton main stand. Buxton on the attack, but trail 2-0. Oh, and the locals are restless fish. Yeah. Leap, leap up more dangerous there, compact, solid. And you're impressed, aren't you, by what you've seen? Yeah, you can see good team spirit. This is the six. You can see why they've won all the games. All right, Blow, we're just saying... Just after it, kids. Yeah, good man. This is the six pre-season game. And Leak have won five prior to this. Yeah, but you're playing, you put it in perspective though, as well for the audience. Yeah, the teams you're playing. Remember Mick Mills' team in 1989? They won every single pre season friendly, and then they went down and got. <laughs> <laughs> and they finished bottom with a record number of. And they'd signed all these new players, and optimism was sky high. They were shit that season. Yeah. So you just have to see if you can carry it on, but better to win than lose. Absolutely, they look solid. Some big lads in the league team. Very impressed with League Town. Look at from that number six, he's a monster, isn't he? From behind this goal. Let's book some, try and put some good football together. Oh, what a save. <laughs> What a save that was. Amazing. Chris, that's quality. He's off, he's offside anyway. The linesman. The line. Are you sure, Liner? We're asking the question. He's a young man, he was just getting some real abuse off these three there. <laughs> really giving him some shit. Yeah, he didn't like it. I told him to take the notice for what it was worth. Yeah. The half time whistle goes from the ground I don't know the name of. It's currently Buxton Nil, Leak Town 2, and that's a that's an impressive first 45 minutes. Very, very well organised and clinical in front of goal. Look at him. Filming away. Yeah. I mean he's he's, he's been he's been recruited. I've still got the whole match on with Tinky because I've watched it a few times. He's spent three hundred million now, Rogers has, you know. So I think times have changed, but you know how good he is. He's absolutely good. Who's that? Well, he's just done all right at Sterling, and he's selling that mercenary for 49 million because he is an absolute utter disgrace. Well, if you met, 
Yeah, I'm better be taping this. Have you yeah, yeah. No idea. Dan Shelley. Is he Dan Shelley? No. Yeah, it is. I can't tell from here. We're in the main stand at the moment. Of course Dan Shelley. Yeah, but I'm looking through the camera. It's harder to identify people. Now, Matt Frierson there. I think he's good enough. Mac is still brilliant. His legs have gone. But he can, fabulous. But he can play. Him and Dan Alette were the best two we've had at least for years. You wouldn't know because it was before your time. James. Yeah, you wouldn't know. Wayne Johnson, I don't think. Do you think he's. If you want to know anything about, uh, you know, football in the, in the dark ages, please turn to us, won't you? We're very good of you. <laughs> James, James. Wayne Johnson shall be in the management box managing, well not managing, but assisting Kaz with his experience. Is he here today? No, he's on holiday. Where is he? On holiday. Where, I mean, the location? He's on the beach with Anthony Danilo. Where's he, Danilo? No idea, some kind. Prestati. <laughs> Mother Ivy's Bay. Some Spanish place. Mother Ivy's Bay. Yeah, it's nice, Mother Ivy's Bay. Gricey went Prestati. Gricey did. What a goal, Gricey. Gaza, Euro 96. I thought he was going to score goals from the end of the channel, but he's proven him wrong. He's proven him wrong. This into Buxton. Buxton team is older than buried us now, physically. I tell you, that, this, and, this into Buxton team is it. And who's his good? Oh, new keeper. He's, he's class. It's Brett Port Vale. I mean, I didn't know you liked Port Vale. No, I don't like Port Vale. Eh? But, he, but, he, but he's not Vale, he's, he's good, Leek. Good dead ball kick, he finds his men. And a good shot stopper. Come on, Marky! Look at Terry there, he's filming with his phone and his camcorder. <laughs> I mean, that's just the commitment, commitment you, can't, you can't buy. Oh dear, oh dear, three. It's too good for you, three, that's the problem. Just a bit too good for you, three. Well done, Macker. <laughs> he knows how to go down as well, Macker does. Oh, he does. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad you noticed that. Experience has. He, he gets a foul out of everyone. Yeah, he's, no, he's just a bit too good for you, three, I'm afraid. And that's why you're frustrated. Number three, he's number two there. It was three who kicked him up in the air. Well, I don't think he got him that badly. He hadn't got that. See, look at that then. That was, was that Grice tucking it? No in? cage fight, is it? No, I don't think he was. Was that Askey? Was that Stuart Pierce? I don't think he was in, though, actually. Look at, the, look at the managers there, Chris. Them two. No ours down there, Kazza and Kitman Ken in his surgical gloves. That's, that's a foul. Yeah, it is, it's soft. Alan, don't disturb me, there's a, a set piece here. Which could lead to a goal. Marvin said he'll meet you at the Angel and Royal next Saturday. Yeah. No. That's that's woeful. That is woeful for. Is it four? It's not four actually. I think it's eight. Yeah, eight. Absolutely woeful free kick. You'd have done that, fish. What a better free kick. No, you you'd have probably done that. Just drilled it about eight yards wide. Possibly. He's supposed to say no, I wouldn't. I don't think you would, mate. I was only trying to provoke you into a into some kind of reaction, but you just didn't bite. Did you get that, Terry? Missed it. Did you? Missed no. I missed it, mate. Two, two, one to Leak Town now. Something's going after that. So. Well, then your mate's coming up. Who's 14? Might need to consult my team sheet. James Curley, 14. Are we sure? 
I should really know who's come on. Oh, really? Yes. What's wrong with the national game? I, I'm a level one it's qualified all, coach. Is well, that... you've just hit the nail on the head there. It's all the coaches in this modern day football have coached the ability out of all the young players. The coaches are to blame, and you're one of them. <laughs> because you've got no playing experience or anything. Well, well, you're a lads and dads man who's come up with your kids, right? And you've decided to carry on the game, you take your coaching badges, and nobody ever fails it. They dish them out to anybody, right? But players who played the game aren't allowed to coach it. Because they haven't got the badges, that sums it up. So, so, so right? do you say that's why the, the England national team fails? Yes, because, because of, you've got people like Steve McLaren, right? They're hopeless, they're just coaches. And if there's anybody with any ability, they coach it out of them. So, that's so, why the national... We'll never ever win the World Cup again in anybody's lifetime. And due due to the coaching structure, you exactly. think? So, yeah. so like me and the, Daniel Payton, for example. Yes, they throw all the money at it, right? Loads and loads of money. Every time we fail, they say we need more coaches. And where do they get them from? The lads and dads say it. Not ex-players like Nobby Styles or Bobby Chong, people who can play the game and do it. They go and get it at grassroots. People like me. All people who are not foot and I know at top level. The football is run by not footballing men, businessmen. Who People don't know from the game. Abroad, Americans who don't know anything about football. It's all gone. Football men aren't in the game anymore. Yeah, but I know, I know the game. Do you? Where, yeah, well, well, where, I... you played for Dyer's Arms Reserves, did you? No, Is I played for the first team, Dyer's first team. Dyer's Arms first team. <laughs> That's Sunday League football, isn't it? I played for Bowling yeah. Green for a couple of seasons. So you're a member of the PF PFA, are you? See that there? David Beckham can't even get that, it's my number, so he can bugger off, can't he? Because it's my number, because I've played the game. Is that all right now? Let me know. Uh, interesting insight there from Alan Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting yeah. views. Yeah, I was manager of Dyer's Arms for three years. I should have said you brought me going there. That won't be on Leak Time TV, will really. it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Elite Town Faithful Fish. It's quite a good following. Chinese gourmet. Quite a good following from Leek, really. I know it's a short journey, but it is pre season, it is raining. There's Chris Martin, keeper. Yeah, what a great keeper he is. Come to watch with the supporters. So it's better than nothing. At least you're learning. Did you learn anything on that course? On the, the level one FA so you can coaching badge. Uh, um, you do? I think so a little bit. Then if so, then it's of some benefit, perhaps. <laughs> I think the, the bigger picture is uh, the amount of English players playing. The amount of English players playing in the actual Premier League. Although there is. I think that affects the national team more than the coaching structure. The fact that, and it's an old argument, but there's just too many foreigners in the Premier League. There's a balance to be had, isn't there? Obviously, they've improved the standard. They, they could, when you get players I mean, who aren't, like, like, for example, Textera, like, who plays with Stoke, he's not improving the standard. He's not improving the standard of the, of the Premier League or the England national team. He shouldn't be playing. He shouldn't. You wonder if he'll sign someone for the right one. I want to see like a really good move here, end up in the back of the net. Oh, that's... Not so good. With the Hughes. Look at Fisher, all he's done all afternoon is drink. Look at him. He's there again. <laughs> Alright, Bruffy. Alright, James. Enjoying the game, mate? Yes, very good, mate. Great goal by Gricey. Brilliant, mate, yeah. Free kick. Dan Shelley in position. Big Town TV. 
chance to catch a moment of glory. Disappointing. The cars are debriefing the, the lads in the rain at Buxton. He's got to be happy with that, Bruffy. Certainly has. Another win. Every time I come here, we lose. So that's. I know it doesn't count for anything pre-season, but you can't dismiss that they've won six out of six, and that's pretty impressive statistic. Certainly is. And let's just hope they can carry it on when the when the season kicks in. <laughs> 